Gas. Hi, I'm Blake Peterson, and welcome to Games 101, where we look at upcoming game releases and what we know about them. Inspired by the multiplayer shooter games of COD and Battlefield, Nintendo's Splatoon was a surprise when it was revealed at E3 2014. The third-person team-based shooter has you literally painting, or rather inking, your territorial advancement through stages. The most obvious difference between Splatoon and other third-person shooters is the visual style. Instead of hardened soldiers or action heroes, you play as cute, super-deformed inklings who do battle in a cartoony arena. As an inkling, you have the ability not just to fire the ink from your weapon, but also to assume a squid form and dive into the ink of your team to replenish your stores and move quickly. Ink from the other team can't be moved through in squid form and, of course, is harmful if struck by. Which, of course, is part of the fun, with weapons like the standard gun, war, sniper rifle, paint roller, and secondaries like grenades, sprinkler, and curtains. Or tools that have the scientific community geeking out. If enough ground is covered, a special weapon can be used. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fire off a special. I'm tapping an area on the gamepad. I'm looking for an area with all green. Oh, Launching that ink strike. Let's go over there. Boom. Nicely done. <laughs> Nicely done. And that, see it on the gamepad there. Yeah, you see on the gamepad, it caused that. Did you get anybody there? Currently, only two modes have been shown. Turf War, a timed mode in which the team that covers the most ground, literally, wins. And splat zone. This is a mode where you have to even like level up your inkling mm -hmm. uh, through online battles to level ten before you're even going right, to be right, able right. to play this. Gotta prove the a king of the hill mode. It. All the way back to, to the, to the, the zone. Nice. So, neutralize so you us. neutralize it, which you'll notice stop their timer from taking down. With uh, other modes promised as downloadable content. Natural selection at its finest. There's also a single player mode that involves puzzle solving and retrieving energy source zapfish that have been stolen by enemy Octarians, with additional levels added with the use of Splatoon Amiibos. Inklings can be upgraded at the mall with rewards earned in-game. These particular squid are other players encountered online or via Miiverse. Though the single-player campaign experience does not translate to multiplayer advancement, and the developers opted not to have a voice chat option to combat possible online harassment. In every mode, the Wii U gamepad can be used to see an updating map, and to launch respawn players into the thick of battle. They'll respawn, allowing them to super jump. And in this map, you can see the, the zone is surrounded oh, by high lives. points. So, all right, so the other team's back in control, that's all right. Splatoon releases on May 29th on the Wii U, and has been developed and will be published by Nintendo, and will cost $59.99. Check out GameRevolution.com for all your news, reviews, and previews, and please subscribe and comment below. Okay. Ink Strike, as you, you can just see, saw. they're working off the penalty now for losing them. So they're working off that penalty counter before they get back into their main right. uh, seconds counter. Right, that, that number below the, the main one up there. Uh, this mode, like you said, it's, it's always a little bit. It, well, it's, it's stressful in the sense that the you see what? If you've got control of the zone, you're standing there trying to protect it. You